Hey, and welcome to Cooking with Chrissy. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a healthy but still incredibly delicious meal. And to kick us off, I'm gonna teach you how to make steamed chicken with avocado and a wasabi soy sauce. It is absolutely amazing, so don't let that steamed chicken fool you. Let's first go over all of the ingredients we're gonna use in today's recipe. I have a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, one avocado, some wasabi, some rice wine vinegar, some soy sauce, some ginger, and one clove of minced garlic. We're gonna get to all that other mishigas later, but for right now, we're just gonna work on steaming our chicken. I know, it seems simple, but unless we actually talk about it, we'll never know how to do it. You're gonna want a large pot of water with like an inch to two inches of water inside, heating up and boiling. Then what you're going to do is wash off your chicken, pat it dry, and we are going to coat the top with salt. Once the top has been coated with salt, you're going to place your chicken in a steamer basket or any sort of thing that will elevate it over the water. The important thing about steaming is you want the steam to be what is cooking your chicken or whatever meat it is. You don't actually want it to touch the water. So just make sure that whatever it is is propped up high enough that even when it's doing like a rapid bubbly boil, none of it ever touches your chicken. We have our chicken breasts and we are just going to gently sprinkle some salt right over the top of them. Once our chicken is coated with salt, we're gonna place it inside the steamer basket so none of it is overlaying on top of each other. So we have our chicken in its steamer basket and we are just going to gently open the lid of this already super boiling water and place the chicken inside. There we go. It is in and officially ready for action. So we're gonna put a super tight lid on so that none of the liquid evaporates and we are going to let it kind of ruminate for between 10 and 30 minutes. So I gave you guys such a vast time difference between that 10 and 30 minutes because it all depends on how thick that chicken is. Most importantly with chicken, we do not want to get salmonella. So we're gonna insert a meat thermometer inside. Whenever we start to feel like it's getting done, we'll check at 10 minutes, and we wanna make sure the thermometer reaches 165 degrees in whatever the thickest part of that chicken is. Cool? No getting sick. Now, let's work on part two. That is going to be our sauce between the chicken and the avocado. And I'm gonna make a kind of funky Asian-inspired sauce. To start out, I'm gonna take one fourth of a cup of rice wine vinegar. Then I'm going to add one fourth of a cup of soy sauce. We are going to mince one clove of garlic. Let's mince this incredibly fine. We are also gonna mince around one tablespoon of ginger. To do that, first you're going to wanna to remove all of the peel. You can either use a peeler or you can just chop it off with your knife. And then you're gonna mince it very similar to the way you would do garlic. It's a little bit harder. Mm, it smells absolutely delicious. Into our bowl of liquids, we are going to place the one clove of garlic and finally, our one tablespoon of ginger. Let's mix this delicious sauce up and kind of let it soak and mold into each other while we wait for our chicken to finish steaming. We can look into the pot and see the chicken steaming. It almost feels like we're spying on the chicken. Never let them know. <laughs> our chicken has been steaming for around 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna pull off the lid and stick the thermometer in the thickest part of the chicken to make sure that it reads 165 degrees, 165 degrees. Hey, okay, our thermometer is telling us it's at 140, so let's leave it in for five more minutes and see what happens. While we are waiting for our chicken to finish steaming, Let's prep that last little part, which is our avocado. Now what we're going to do is cut the avocado in half. There we go, cutting it in half all beautifully. Watch your fingers. Twist it, open it up on the inside. 
Now this part that the pit in, we're gonna deal with the exact same way as when we made guac. You can actually, if it's ripe enough, just use your finger and it should remove really, really easily. Our chicken and avocado, we're going to layer in nice, thin layers. So what we're going to do right now is take our avocado, take our knife, and really carefully slice the avocado all the way down. Do not cut through the avocado. You will cut your hand and I do not want to deal with that. When it has all of these nice avocado slices in it, we are going to take a spoon and gently go all the way around the outside so that our pieces just kind of pop out of the avocado all the way around. There you go. That is how you slice your avocado into these nice little thin pieces. So let's just lay these right over here on the side of our cutting board until we need them. And let's check our chicken again. Our chicken has reached 165 degrees. So after letting it cool slightly, we are going to slice it very thinly around a quarter inch thick so it matches our avocado pieces. All of our components are ready. So now it's just time for the fun part, assembling your plate. We are going to take one slice of chicken and put it on our plate. We're going to gently coat this slice of chicken in our yummy soy glaze that we made earlier. We are going to take some wasabi. Now watch out because this stuff is spicy and we are going to dab it right in the center and spread it around on the whole piece. On top of that, we are going to place one of the avocado slices. And we're going to continue doing this in a circular pattern until you have enough food for a meal. Chicken, soy, wasabi, and avocado. Here you have our gorgeous chicken, soy, wasabi, and avocado dish. On the next segment of Cooking with Chrissy, I'm gonna teach you what goes on the side. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these recipes and wanna keep them coming.